Hi guys <laughs> Welcome back to the channel So uh, today is going to be an interesting topic Menstrual cramps I can't believe that I'm going to be sharing this with you Oh my god mm. I cry in case, in case I start crying please Please sympathize with me and um, give me a thumbs up like give me a thumbs up for this video because it took a lot of courage for me to do this video and to put this out there so give me a thumbs up comment play with menstrual cramps has been a battle it has been a struggle come to understand that um, women um, the woman's body is very different you know how a woman you know um, deal with pain is equally different so you can see or you might see that woman A does not experience menstrual cramps woman B experiences mild menstrual cramps while woman C experiences the heaviest and tons of pain she deals with a lot of pain you know when having her menstruation so i fall under category c every month it's a different kind of pain like the pain i deal with every month is different okay and then <laughs> coupled with the mood swings and then the cravings and then the bloating uh, and all the extras added to it you know so it just keeps piling up and piling up all right i started seeing my menstruations at age 10 and my parents were really terrified for me because i was very young but i matured really fast now from 10 till now i'm actually 26 at this point for 16 years i've never had a painless menstruation in my life so every month i deal with one pain or the other yes 16 years of constant pain of constantly dealing with menstrual cramps and i had menstrual cramps it was really paralyzing i would never wish that kind of paralyzing pain for anyone um the first months of my message my dad was able to you know help me um, cope with the pain by giving me pain relieving drugs for that first year of my message i i experienced tons of pain you know and my mom was worried for me she has never she has never never um had cramps before in her life so it surprised her that her daughter was going through this kind of pain and not just going through the kind that pain she was going through the pain every month and so she had to go ask her mom <coughs> who is late now god bless her soul god rest her soul you know and then her mom in her dialect i'm an Igbo girl in case you do not know <laughs> so her mom in her dialect explained to her that she as well did not you know have menstrual cramps but her mother before herself that's my great grandmother had very heavy flow so that was how i got to find out that um, this was hereditary yes so it skipped my grandmother skipped my mother and then came to me why why should it skip all these women and come to me like it skipped two generations of women and landed on my head on my body why oh, so 10 11 12 13 14 now 26 i have not had a painless free flowing menstruation in my life 
So when next a woman tells you that she's having menstrual cramps, please and please do not bleed to, do not try to water down her pain or try to compare yours with her because you will never understand. You will never fathom the kind of pain she's going through or she goes through every month. So all you have to do is sympathize with her. I've been dealing with and coping with semester cramps all my life and each month is different from the other. Let's say in month A, I might have severe cravings, which is part of it, bloatedness and very intense cramps. You know, in month B, it might be paralyzing. I won't be able to sit or stand properly. So I'll need to slouch and you know hold my abdomen or lie down for the entire period of the flu. So you can imagine the pain I go through every day for that you know amount of time or that number of days until the menstruation ends. So um, I've come across women who have to be admitted in the hospital. Others have to take, you know, leaving drugs just to, you know, um, just to be free of the pain. But it doesn't work. My own body became immune to drugs. So this, I can't take drugs. I can't take drugs. So the only way I get to cope with menstrual cramps is to eat vegetables a week before my next flu and avoid sugars as much as I can you know and then also um, bathe with warm water you know so as to regulate my temperature and all that so that has been you know my coping mechanism for, for menstrual cramps so when I got my first job in 2020 I had to tell my boss about it so he doesn't feel like I was making things up and also he gets to know my health status he was aware of my severe menstrual cramps my current boss equally knows about it like two weeks ago I was at the office and the pain started I was supposed to do a presentation that Friday, but I couldn't because of the numbing pain. It paralyzed my leg. I had to, you know, I had to lie on my chair for a couple of minutes just so I could, you know, I could sit properly. So I, I, I was really not comfortable sitting. You know, every now and then I would, you know, lie down. I know my colleagues had to give me um, some drugs, which did not work. <laughs> but I just had to take it, believing that it's going to help, you know, with the pain. But fortunately, it did not work. So it has been hard. All I had to do, all I have been able to do over the years is just cope with the pain. And when I'm at work, I do as much as I can based on my mood and then the, um, the pain. So if I cannot work at all, I just let my bosses know that I'm unable and fit to work and just let me go for that day. So dealing with menstrual cramps at work has not been easy. It has not been easy. There's a lot of pain in your abdomen. There's a lot of headache going on. Your moods are just all over the place. It's just as much as I can't not to just for aggression to the doctor said, you know, because of the pain I'm dealing with and I'm going through. It, it has not been easy. Dealing with menstrual cramps has not been easy. It is one pain that I will not wish for any woman at all. Yes. <laughs> so um, I still cope with it. You know, on the other hand, I have th 
thoughts of going for surgery, hysterectomy, you know, so as to be free from menstrual cramps. There is no cure yet for menstrual cramps, and I I just pray that scientists actually find a cure for it because 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 this is one body that that affects a woman in all areas her emotional health her physical health her psychological health it affects her in all areas she shuts down completely <sighs> it has not been easy but we just get by we just cope with it over and over so um i'd like to hear you I'd like to read from you how you cope with menstrual cramps at work what you do um to numb the pain or to relieve yourself of the pain so do not forget to like comment subscribe to this channel and equally share this video